Welcome back everybody, MC here with another video and today we're going to be taking on Skeletron Prime. As you can see, we are just at the end of our previous fight against the twins. We just took them out and in the same night, I'm going to take out Skeletron Prime. And I'm going to leave auto pause on here for a little bit so that we can prepare ourselves a little bit and go over what we're going to be doing. So obviously if Skeletron Prime doesn't get defeated before the next day and we're already a quarter the way through this day or night I should say um, I'll be killed in one shot so we have to be very careful here so as you can see we're still using the Mega Shark we're using crystal bullets and I think we're pretty good to go when it comes to this we have lots of different potions to use and we've plenty of health we've everything set up I, th I think this is going to be a bit of a breeze what do you guys think so, unfortunately, first we have to kill this stupid wyvern that managed to get in the way and take a bunch of our health off us. We also have the heart statue and everything set up, so we're going to be fine, I think. But time is the only problem here. We have a bit of a time limit to kill Skeletron Prime, but other than that, I think we are golden. So, Skeletron Prime, the last mechanical boss, and then we can start focusing on the rest of the game. So, as usual, I'm going to shut up and let you enjoy the fight, and I'll put a couple of comments in as we fight. So, enjoy! I'm expecting a few comments about Skeletron Prime. I like to fight him a little bit differently from other people. I go straight for the head. I find that it actually is quicker to just take out the head instead of having to take out the arms and legs first. And you pretty much just skip rope around his arms and legs as you're running back and forth, as you can see here. So they can't really hit you. As I said already though, if you take out the arms and legs first, you will lower the defense of the head, makes it a little bit easier. And because I'm using crystal bullets, I find that you will hit the arms and legs regardless. didn't really need to use the nurse during this fight but I said while well, she's there and while I'm next to her I might as well use her if she dies it's fine I don't think there's any issue of us dying and yeah I think it's probably not so necessary but we did it anyway Ah, the key to this fight, if anyone is having any issues, when he goes into his death roll stage, just keep running in the opposite direction. He usually won't get to you as long as you have a good enough movement speed. If he hits you, you're pretty much dead, so you have to be very careful not to get hit when he's in death roll. You can pretty much get hit by anything else and you'll be fine. GG, that's the last mechanical boss dead, so we're going to be able to upgrade all of our items now and go off and start fighting Plantera. After that, of course, Gollum. It's going to be a very interesting couple of episodes coming up. I'll probably post the next one in the next month or so, I'm expecting it in about two or three weeks. And yeah, we're going to be doing Plantera first, and then we'll do another video for the temple, and then we'll do another video or Gollum himself. So let me know what you think in the comment section. How do you normally fight Skeletron Prime? And let me know if you usually don't go straight for the head and you actually try and aim for the arms first. But I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for hanging out with us today. Thank you very much once again and ta-ta!